In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at font editing. Um, this is just basic editing, quite similar to what you could do in just about any text editor. And we'll look at the font style and size um, for selected font or for selected lyrics, uh, as well as how to select all your lyrics. Um, we'll look at setting the defaults that you want for text for your lyrics. Um, We'll also just take a look at a few different things you can do with spacing. And here we go. So here we have a file that we have some lyrics entered for a single staff. And just like any text editor, you can click and drag to select certain lyrics. And you'll see that the tools light up here so that you can use them. Um, increase your font size. You can decrease your font size. You can change whether they're bold or not. You can change whether it's italic or not. Um, you can, as we mentioned before in our other editing or our other lyric tutorials, <clears throat> you can shift them left or right. We're not going to do that here because it'll overwrite what we've got listed here. If you'd like to see how to shift those around, please see the other lyric tutorials. You can also um, show whether to, if you want to show or hide specific lyrics for some reason, you can do that. If you'd like to show or hide all the lyrics, you can use this button here to hide them or to show them. It toggles that on or off. Um, if you want to select all of the lyrics, in this staff. Perhaps you have other lyrics that are on following pages. Um, in order to select them all, you click to select the entire staff and then use region because what you've selected is a region and now convert that region to lyrics. And you'll see here that all of them are now selected. Now any of these uh, font changes that you make will be um, applied to all of them here. You can change the font type that you use. Um, let's see. Oh, something fun. So you go script and it'll change all of your font to, you know, all of your lyrics to that particular font. Um, and we'll change that back just for clarity's sake here. Or you can redo it if you decide, you know, you can go back and forth. Your number of undos is limited only by the amount of memory in your machine. <clears throat> so, um, there's changing, editing them when you, after you've got them in. If you want to change the default that you start off with, you can use either the default button here, which is the same as the format font styles, this dialog here, okay? You can change it for just the part that you've got selected, or you can change it for all of them, or just certain ones. Okay, you, and you can do that by clicking, clicking it will either select or unselect it, depending on the current state. Um, if we're looking at lyrics here, and you can look at any type of text. This is the default font settings for any types of uh, lyrics or page text, free text. Um, music symbols, you're limited to the default, which is the Harmony font. So um, you can do that for anything here. Changes that you make, you can save that as a default and then click OK. Um, all right, so that's where you change that. Now, there's also, if you, you may have noticed in format, font um, styles. Or I'm sorry, font size and spacing. And this gets into the, the overall spacing, not just for the lyrics, um, but for the overall spacing of the whole score. And by that, I mean the lyrics and the notation. The global font size here is, the default is 9. 
you may want to, if you increase that, then everything gets larger. Um, your horizontal spacing. The default for musician and composer is set at 100% of the standard engraver spacing. However, if you like things a little more spread out, you could change that, say 150%, okay? And you can see how that spreads things out a bit, okay? Um, we'll go back and we'll change that back to 100. Um, you can also change the vertical spacing, and that's listed a little bit differently. Um, it's just list, listed as quarters because it's a little easier um, for spacing to, to do it in bigger chunks. Um, so you can change the spacing between adjacent staves, which means between each staff in a system. So if you have a two-hand piano part, you can change the spacing between the treble and the bass clefs using this this one here. If you um, want to change the spacing between, say, the first line of bass and treble clef for a piano part and the next line of bass and tre treble clef, um, you can use this here between the nearest adjacent systems. Okay, and so if you want to say really big space, and you can put, you know, like eight or twelve or something. Um, but for now, we'll leave that because um, that's the default, and it's generally pretty good. So we'll click OK. And that really does it, I think, for the um, basic editing of your lyrics. Thanks for listening.